what sold on Mercari. I am so excited. This is my best Mercari month to date. What sold in April? And there's so many tabs pulled up. Did I? Yeah, I did. Um, so many tabs pulled up that I'm probably going to have to turn this into two videos, but I just pulled them all up and I'm like ready to go. So I'll probably go and see how long the video is and maybe stop in the middle and make a second like part two. But Mercari has been awesome for the month of April. I have sold $2,600 on Mercari. So is that anywhere near what I'm selling on eBay? No, it's about, I would say one third. But um, that's good because it's usually like one tenth of what I'm selling on eBay. Um, I mean, Posh or I'm sorry, Mercari is usually like 500. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll have a thousand dollars in sales on Mercari. And it's usually when my husband posts like an expensive item that pulls the price up. It's not even because of my items. So I am so excited. Um, I've got some key items that I listed that have really helped like my sales this month, which I'm hoping you guys will learn from. But this is definitely a bolo, it, bolo video. Uh, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. That's what my channel is all about. Um, I've been selling on eBay since 2005. I branched out to Mercari and Poshmark about two years ago. And Let's get, let's look at these bolos. I'm super excited. All right. The first one's a good one. All right. Here we go. Screen share is up. Okay. Uh, feel free to put your comments and questions and all of that down in the description of the video. I'm happy to answer any Mercari questions. I know a lot of my viewers are eBay peeps, but uh, this is definitely a Mercari video, but I'm going to tell you these items sold faster on Mercari because they were cross posted to eBay and they sold on Mercari first. Okay. So the first item, Bart Simpson bundle. So I had you guys that watch me know that I bought like a bunch of Bart Simpson stuff from a thrift store for $10. And basically, um, I was just going to sell the figures and not deal with the play sets. And my husband's like, no, you'll make so much more money if you put the play sets together. I'm like, I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to figure out which characters go with what. I just, I'm a lazy reseller sometimes. So he took the time and set them all up for me. And I'm so glad he did because it has paid off. I should give him a commission. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but anyhow, um, this Simpsons bundle. So the lady asked me, she's like, I want the kitchen. And I think this is like the mayor. And I want the, the graveyard. I'm like, okay. And she's like, I'll give you 120. I'm like, okay. So I lotted it together. I paid the shipping and Mercari takes 10%, which is another thing that I love about Mercari is 10% fees, no listing fees. Awesome. The next item I sold is this Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Animus Lion. So I have another one of these listed also. Um, it hasn't sold yet. This sold within 24 hours. It's, I guess it's rare. I, I don't know. I looked it up and I was, it's a hard to find item. So I was pretty excited about it. I sold this for $36 with free shipping. This was in my money pile, just something that's been sitting in my basement that needed listed. I did pay the shipping on this. Uh, these are Disney Snow White and the Seven Dwarf toys. It's from 1993. These are McDonald's toys. If you want to learn more about Happy Meal toys that sell for big money, go check out my Happy Meals Bolo category video. You will be shocked. There is definitely money to be made with McDonald's and Wendy's and even Taco Bell sometimes. This sold for $18 and I paid the shipping. So what I do is I offer free shipping and then I ship from pirate ship this tag books. Okay. Um, if you watch some of my other what sold videos, you may have heard this story, but for those of you that have not, I purchased a tote full of tag leapfrog items at a garage sale over the summer. It's been sitting in my basement. I have not wanted to deal with it. And I decided with everything that's going on and the stay at home orders and the lockdowns and all of that that now is the time to list this stuff. And boy, was I right. Um, these items are selling faster on Mercari. I have sold some on eBay, 
but I have sold more on Mercari. So if you have leapfrog and tag items, definitely get them on Mercari. This sold for $20 with free shipping and Mercari took 10%. These watch bands, my husband bought out an estate and this was just something that he didn't want to deal with. I thought about like trying to separate them and do it in small lots. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to mess with it. So I just lotted it up and it's basically, I just threw it all in these Ziploc bags. Some may be complete bands or they could all be broken for parts. No clue. Please use photos as description. There's men's, there's women's in here. Honestly, I did not go through it. I just took it from my husband and I put it in the bag. So I don't know if, uh, I don't know if anything's complete and that's just what I said. Uh, I did pay the shipping on this. It went in a medium flat rate box. So it cost me close to $14 to ship this. Poshmark took, I'm sorry, Mercari took their percentage 10% and I did have condition as poor. So hopefully they find something. I, I don't really, I don't know. I mean, most of them weren't latched together. So I don't know that one is who knows. So it's just a mixed lot. People do crafts with them. People might need replacement bands. So there is a lot there. 18 pounds is a lot. The next item is this Annabelle ski diddle little kittle. I purchased this at a thrift store in a bulk vintage toy lot. I sold this one for $21 with free shipping. And I probably had less than a dollar in it. These were from the same lot. And you can see over here, they're called Pee Wee Dolls. And they're by, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, Unita. From 1965, they are vintage. Here's what they look like on the bottom. So they were really easy to identify. I sold these for $20 with free shipping. And I think the same person bought this. Or maybe they bought this one. The same person bought them all, but they bought them at different times. Um, but anyway, this one sold for $22. It's Little Kittle Surfy Siddle. And these are just little teeny dolls and they are vintage. They are hard to find. If you find them, they go anywhere from 15 to 30 bucks. So definitely pick them up if you see them. The next item are these vintage watch crystals. They are yellowing. They are not in great shape. Um, I just said most are yellowing from the packages. It was from a watchmaker's estate. A lot of them are for women's watches. My husband didn't want to mess with it. So I said, I'll take it. I'll list it. So $35 for me. Uh, I did pay the shipping and uh, Mercari took their uh, 10%. So like these are pretty good, but I don't know if it's the brown packaging that colored them. I'm not sure. The next item is this retired Lego elf set. Retired Lego sets go for big money. This one, I will say I have had a while. It was not like a high demand item. I waited on the right buyer. I sold some other ones that I got at the same sale and I did really, really well with those. They sold fast and for big money. I did end up getting $76 and I did not have free shipping on this. So the buyer paid the shipping and Poshmark took their $7.60 and I I think I paid $10 for this at a garage sale, but it was sealed, brand new. This little guy is a vintage African-American doll figurine. He's just a little peanut guy. He's so tiny. Okay, he's maybe not as small as a peanut's probably, he's probably double the size of a peanut, but he is not very big. And he is super, super cute. I've never seen anything like it. But the gentleman that bought my little kittles also bought this. Super cute. I sold it for $11 with free shipping. It was at a garage sale. I probably had a quarter or something in it. Has anyone ever seen anything like this? Do you know what it's called? Um, is it a certain toy brand? Um, I just really want to know. I didn't have any luck researching it and it's super, super cool. The next item is this Toy Story 3 figure. Again, this has been sitting in my money pile from a garage sale over the summer. I have so many toys and I just have a hard time identifying them. So uh, yeah, Toy Story 3 sold it for $25 with free shipping. And it has a little thing on the top that you like, it moves its face from mad to happy. And it, it doesn't work all the time. And I just disclosed that and it still sold for 25. So 
If that would have worked, I would have sold it for more. This Henry Bendel fragrance ring is super cool. It actually has fragrance, like a cream, a fragrance cream. I don't know what you call it, if it's cream or what, but you put your finger and then you probably put it on your neck like that. I don't know. But uh, it was not full. It was used. So I don't know if somebody will like clean it out and maybe use it for essential oils or something like that. But it's a super cute ring, even if you don't use the perfume. And this sold within 24 hours for $29 in free shipping. This was my husband's item. And he got, I'm not sure where he got this. I didn't ask him. I don't think it was in that watch lot. I think this was like probably at a flea market or something. And I don't know what he paid for it. Sorry. But um, it's super, super cool. It's a Native American wristwatch bracelet. And it sold really fast. So I don't know if I had it underpriced or what. But um, I priced it higher than what he told me to price it at because I thought he was too low. And it sold really fast for $100 and the buyer paid shipping. I did have it at $125 and took a best offer of $100. So, yeah, pretty cool. And if anybody knows anything about this, like price-wise, like did we sell it too cheap or I don't know. If you know anything, comment below. The next item is this flower paperweight. Again, just a kind of random item that was thrown in with a bunch of stuff at a garage sale. And I was like, hey, I'm going to list that. I don't even think I put this on the other platforms and it sold super fast. I have no idea why for $10 with free shipping. Uh, crafters lot. So this sat on eBay and it sat on eBay and it sat on eBay for probably over a year. And I was like, I'm going to list that. I'm going to cross that to Mercari because crafts seem to be doing well on Mercari. And it sold really fast, like within a few days. And I sold it for $19 with free shipping. Crafters items are doing great right now. Uh, pink Victoria's Secret leggings. These were like brand new. Um, they weren't, but they were, you know, I don't think they were ever worn. And I sold these for $30 with free shipping. They've got the little side cell phone pocket. I picked those up at a garage sale for like a buck. These silver Suki jeans came from a garage sale. I think I paid $2 for these and I sold them for $35 with free shipping. And Flippin' Hippos always talks about the silver Suki jeans. It's one of her favorite pairs of jeans to sell. If you guys have not checked out Flippin' Hippos, definitely go check her out. The next item is this Bucilla Tigger and ER Ornaments. And I sold these for $16 with free shipping. This is a used lot. It is partially finished. And it still sold for $16 and free shipping. The next item is this Longenberger Bud Vase. Um, $25 with free shipping. Again, this sold super fast. I had a couple bucks in it from a garage sale. Anytime I find Longenberger, I definitely, definitely buy it. It usually does well for me. I don't buy the baskets. They're too, like, I don't do that. They're a pain to ship. But these are um, the glass where I buy. Uh, American Girl Cookbooks. Another thing that sat on eBay for quite a while with no sales. And I moved it over to Mercari and put free shipping on it. And it sold within a day or two for $28 and free shipping. It's a little cookbook. Another Leapster from the Leapfrog Hall. I sold this for $40 and free shipping. The next item is a leap pad. Like I said, I sold a lot of my leap frog and leap pad items on Mercari. They went fast and for, I mean, I feel like a fair price. Sold for $33 and free shipping. So it's the game system and the four games. Here's more, eight tag books. I sold these for $25 and free shipping. And those went media mail. And this is a Leapfrog learning game, Clifford. It's new in the package, so it's new old stock. It sold for $14 with free shipping, and it sold, I think, within 24 hours. A couple more Leapster games. They don't have the box, but they do have the instructions. I sold these for $13 with free shipping. So a lot of the Leapfrog items like this, that's a bread and butter item, not huge profits, super easy to list, and sold super fast. A lot of three Leap Reader books. Leap Frog sold these for 17 with free shipping. Shipped with Media Mail, so three bucks to ship it. Tag books and pen. 
So they get the pin and the books. And if you're not familiar with a tag pin, basically you run this pin across the words and it will read it back to you. Sold for $26 with free shipping. Seven tag books, one pin, same thing. Sold for $35 free shipping. Another one, cat in the hat book, tag pin, $18 free shipping. I mean, I'm telling you, this stuff sold awesome. If you've got Leapfrog, get it listed on Mercari. Okay, so this is a lot of three Libby Active brawls, size 20. I had one of these listed and somebody asked me if I had more, so I bundled it up for her. I did a screenshot from my phone. That's why the photo is not great. And then I just typed it in real quick with, I didn't put capital letters or anything. I just created the bundle from my phone really fast. Um, this was a retail online arbitrage. I probably had six or seven bucks each in these. Sold them for 60 with free shipping. So not a huge profit, but again, with retail arbitrage, what I would expect. Jewelry lot, 12 pounds, wearable, vintage to now. So um, my bulk buy, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. I purchased 344 pounds of jewelry, a lot. And I have a whole series on it on my YouTube channel. If you go to my playlist, it'll say I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. You can get the whole story of how I bought that much jewelry on eBay. Uh, it's the video where I weigh it. That's the one you want to watch. So this 12 pounds sold for $128 with free shipping. And, you know, there's a lot of bread and butter items. There might be some signed pieces in there. It $128 for that much jewelry. I mean, you're definitely going to make money for sure. Um, I know that the, I think the gal that purchased this, I ended up finding out that she is a subscriber to my channel. We figured it out after she bought the third bag from me. She's like, I went to watch some of the resellers that I watch. And I was like, I thought she looked familiar. So kind of a funny story. We've been chit chatting back and forth. I've been following her store because um, I kind of want to see what all she's listing, you know, because it's super fun. She's bought three bags from me. So definitely very, very cool. So Posh, I'm sorry, Mercari took $12.80. It cost me around 14 to ship it. So what's that? 20, about $27 is what I'm into it for. So definitely, definitely made a decent profit. Now, would I have made more if I would have listed the items on my own? Most definitely. But I have 344 pounds of jewelry, you guys, that I need to move, move, move. So um, I decided to lot some of it up and sell some of it on Mercari. I think I have five bundles or lots like that left. I have some crafters lots. So basically what I did is I sorted it from wearable to crafters because I didn't want to, I, I knew I could get more for the wearable items because people can wear those items or they can list them and resell them or whatever. The crafter stuff, that's for crafters. You know, those items are so tangled that I didn't want to untangle them anymore or um, they're broken and they're for parts or repair or people can make jewelry out of them. So. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I decided to do. So I am listing stuff individually. Um, some of the stuff I'm keeping signed, some of it's bread and butter. Sometimes I just grab some stuff and try it. I don't know. I, there's no method, you know, just one day I unboxed a bunch of it and I'm like, I'm just going to sell this in bulk. So we'll see how it goes. But she bought three of them off of me. So that makes me feel like she was happy with what she, um, purchased. So that's good. That always feels good when you have a repeat customer. And at the time, she didn't know that I was Courtney from Bolo Buddies. <laughs> she figured it out, though. So that's kind of cool. I thought about telling her, but I'm like, I don't know. Like, maybe she doesn't even watch YouTube or and Mercari, like when you message people, they pick up like weird things. And I didn't want them to think I was trying to do like an outside transaction or something like that. But anyhow, um, I am doing a video on, it's called, I can't remember. It's going to be 
only items that I have sold from the bulk buy. So if you guys want to see everything I've sold from my 344 pound bulk buy purchase, you can go check out that video. And in that video, I actually share her store, her Poshmark and her Mercari, if you guys want to check it out. So go check out that video for sure. All right, I'm going to stop here because I'm at 20 minutes and I'm going to go in and I'm going to start part two of what sold on Mercari in April. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. Did I already say that? It's almost 1 a.m. <laughs> I think I'm on video nine. <laughs> I, okay, so funny story. You probably won't make it this far, but um, I was like, gosh, I haven't, I, I kind of took a YouTube break because I've had so many videos like ready to go. And I'm like, I just want to focus on listing and you know, just take a break because YouTube takes a lot of time. Like I have to research everything. Like my what sold videos, I have to pull up all the tabs. I have to figure out what sold when, and I haven't done a video of what sold since April 4th. So I had 10 videos that I had to do tonight. <gasps> I've been recording since, was it 9.30? 9.30 when I started after I shipped 9.30. So three hours. By the time I get done, I'll probably be recording for about three and a half hours. So yeah, my eyes are getting sleepy. So I have one more video to do. So if you made it this far, comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.